A loop is just a set of commands that's repeated over and over again. Every loop must have a beginning and an end. In the case of a counted loop, the loop is repeated a fixed number of times. And to do that, the computer needs to keep track of how many times it's been round the loop. It needs a variable. So let's have a variable called counter. Counter would be integer. And that would count how many times I've been round the loop. And it would keep counting until it gets to the preset number. And then it would stop. So for example, supposing I want to send each of 24 students a letter congratulating them on their distinctions in this unit. And you'll probably be one of those. I would have a counted loop. And I would say something like... Count from 1 to 24 using counter. Do print congratulatory letter. And then I'd have a next command to send it back to the beginning again, or a loop command. Counted loops will just do something a fixed number of times. And there are several other kinds of loops. Let's now have a look at how a program using a counted loop would look in pseudocode. As always, we start off with program and the program name. I've called this program counted loop. Then we need to define our variables. In this case, we're going to define age as a list of six integers. Now, we need to count where we are in the list of six integers, so I'm going to define another variable called counter as an integer. Now I can set up each of the ages. Now that they're defined, we can use them. All lists start at zero. That's just the way it is. Computers number from zero. So the age of the first student is age 0 and let's say that student is 17. The second student's age would go into age 1 and that student is let's say 25 and so on down. The third student would be aged 16. The fourth student 31 the fifth student, 22, and the final student would be 19. Now I can go through the loop. So I can say counting from 0 to 5, because lists in computing start at 0, using counter, so counter is going to be where I store how often I've been round the loop, do and then whatever it is I want to do. In this case, I'm going to put the age of whatever the current counter is to the screen. So since this loop starts from zero, the first time round, age zero will display 17. The second time round, counter will be one and so that will display 25 and so on and it will go from 0 to 5 showing each of these ages here. The loop command tells it to go back until it reaches the final number. When it's done the final number it stops and then as always we have our end program so that our code knows when to stop. But notice the indenting. Program, end program. So everything between the beginning and the end is indented. Counting from and loop belong together. So anything between counting from and loop is indented. 
that's good programming practice and a good thing to get used to. This is how exactly the same program would look as a mind map. First, we're going to add the program name, so program counted loop, to the program plan by pressing the insert button. Then pressing enter allows us to enter the end program command. We can now go back to program counted loop and because we need to indent we press insert and the program starts. As before I'm going to define age as a list of six integers. I'm also going to need a counter so counter as integer. Those two commands define the variables that we're going to need. Then I'm going to set each of the ages so age 0 because computers start from 0, age 0 to 17, age 1 to 25, age 2 to 16, age 3 to 31, age 4 to 22 and at the end age 5 to 19. Now I can start my counted loop. So counting from 0 to 5 using counter, so counter is going to be how many times we've been round the loop, I'm going to output the age of whatever the counter is at the moment to the screen. And I'm going to keep going round that loop because I have a loop command. When the loop has finished going round six times, the program will end. Notice that again we've indented whatever is in the loop. That allows us to see what's in the loop and what's not in the loop. Again, good programming practice.